For my friends, y'all, the uh, letter sent by President Donald Trump to former FBI Director James Comey is uh, troubling. I knew that Trump was many things. I knew about his arrogance, his disrespect. I did not fully appreciate his level of incompetence. I uh, have worked with elementary school kids for many years as an educator in the past, currently as a school bus driver. And very often, kids are not competent at telling a lie. I wasn't. When I was in elementary school, I, I, I couldn't tell a believable lie. Uh, typical situation, uh, a kid will complain about another kid, then you uh, talk to the kid who is at fault, so you say, um, what, what were you uh, talking about the last few minutes? Then the kid's reaction is, I, I, I wasn't saying any bad words. Then you go, well, I did not accuse you of using bad words. Why would you think that, why, why do you even bring this up? Then the kid's reaction is, oops. Well, this is exactly what President Trump has done. He is a grown man. That le The second paragraph of that letter, uh, you know, when he uh, fired Director Comey, goes like this. While I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions, that I am not under investigation. I never, nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. I mean, come on now. This is not even, a, he's not even competent at covering up. And this is really troubling. Until then, I really felt that if President Trump were impeached, that would not be good because then his successor would be Mike Pence. Mike Pence is more loyal to Wall Street. He's slicker. He's smoother than President Trump. I think that between Trump and Pence, I, I thought Trump would be a lesser evil. But right now, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I hope he gets impeached. Because think about it. Now he cannot, he clearly lost any uh, bargaining power. Any, any power that he has to negotiate is just it disappeared now. If you are any foreign leader, whether it's Justin Trudeau or Kim Jong-un or Emmanuel Macron, you sit at the table with this guy and you think, I own this guy. This guy's a joke. This guy cannot even tell a believable lie. First graders are better at covering up than he is. Voilà.